Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to the Thursday update for COVID-19 that we are doing for our community to make sure that you know what's happening in this community related to COVID-19 as well as across the state. We're happy that people continue to join us. We will be here again tomorrow and then starting next week, we will be moving to a Monday, Wednesday, Friday format just to give everybody a preview of that plan. Again, thank you for what everybody's doing across this community to keep people safe. It's critically important that we are in that period of time, two weeks into the order, to flatten the curve. as we're predicted at this point in time and at least starting understanding that it makes a difference when we do not have a large group of people we're interacting with and spreading disease. An update from Wisconsin. In Wisconsin there are 2,885 positive cases of COVID-19 now from testing, an increase today of 129 cases and 111 deaths, an increase of 12. All of us are thinking about those families who have had to experience that, and, and it's difficult. 31,424 negative tests across the state, with again increasing numbers of testing being done. Hospitalization of those positive cases, um, a total of 843 people have been hospitalized sometime during their time after being identified as positive, 29% of the cases in Wisconsin. The deaths and the cases that we have in the state, including those um, cases in Eau Claire, are numbers when I report them to you, but they're people. Those are family members, those are friends, those are people across our community that are impacted hugely by this disease. Whether you're a case and getting ill, or even a case that has not shown a lot of symptoms, your life has been changed because of the restrictions uh, placed on you and the need to stay home to not spread disease. And certainly those people that have been very ill from this disease and those people that have died, um, it's, it's significant. They are real people, real Wisconsinites that have had their lives changed. In Eau Claire, we continue to have 21 positive cases identified via testing. So again, no increase from the yesterday when we reported to you. Our testing numbers have increased. We have 27 additional individuals tested. We're now at 1,074 people tested and 931 negative tests. So we have gotten an increase of 56 negative tests back since yesterday. A couple of updates for you today. Um, first of all, an enormous thank you to the religious leaders and pastors across this community who are really paying attention to the Safer at Home order and really working with their congregations to assure people stay home, stay with their household, and find other ways, creative ways, to uh, practice their religion, which is very, very critical for people and and even more important during times like this. I appreciate that the parish that I belong to is doing that as well. Doing the right thing and encouraging people to stay home is what we all need to be doing, and I really appreciate those religious leaders that are doing that. We have had a lot of discussion about the importance of the Safer at Home order, why physical distance in a small circle is critical. There is disease in this community, not just those people that have been tested positive, but those people that are positive and either don't know it or have minimal symptoms and are not being tested. We know that there is disease and we know that spread is possible, especially to those most vulnerable populations that exist. We are asking that all congregations continue to follow the principles in the Safer at Home order, which is keep households at home and keep physical distance in place. Um, we know that as of today, the governor did send out a press release around the Safer at Home order related to religious celebrations. We are very concerned about that locally as are health departments and public health officials across the state. Uh, that, that communication from the governor did allow a couple of options for religious services that were not previously allowed in the communication from the state health department. 
Um, those permitted ways from the governor's office today, this afternoon, included parking lot services and included creative options for people to be under 10 people in various spaces within a building. My strong encouragement to all parishes, all congregations in Eau Claire County is to continue to follow the communication that was sent out yesterday with the original guidance, which is to not have parking lot services, to not have groups gather. Even though this is a critical religious holiday week for many, many people, whether it's Passover or the Triduum, it's important that we help people stay home. It's important that we work hard to make sure that safer at home is adhered to in a way that means people keep their circle, just their household. Parking lot services, while communicated by the governor today, may be allowable. It creates a dynamic where people are out in the community, increasing risk. They are out in places where their friends and their fellow congregants are together, and it creates a very difficult situation for people, pe keeping people not exposed. My ask of all of our leaders across Eau Claire County is to not hold those services. Certainly the governor's directive today via his uh, media release was that there were some circumstances where it was allowable. Keeping people at least six feet apart, keeping um, the contact of individuals um, non-existent in those settings is really what we will be asking for and what we will be expecting. We also recommend that the parishes and the congregations that choose to have religious ceremonies over the course of this time do it in using media outlets. And we know that many of you are finding creative ways to do that, and we are very much appreciative. My thoughts are with um, people that have strong religious traditions that want to practice them over the next few days, and people that have strong family traditions that want to practice those over the next number of days. Many of us have family traditions outside of religious traditions that every Easter we do. We are, again, saying that this is a critical time in our spread of disease in Wisconsin. Staying home with your household is what we need you to do. So to both parishes and individuals, please stay home. Please stay with your household and follow the intent of the order, which is to keep groups small and just the same group that you are always with. We also know from the order that as the good weather arrives, there are some creative um, thinking about how to get people outside. We want people to go outside and walk and bike and be with your household doing those things. Outdoor recreation is a good thing even with this order in place. Outdoor recreation spaced apart from people is what the order is about. Going out in cars to do parades, to do drive-by visits to various attractions is not included in the order. Those things are not allowable. Essential travel is for very specific purposes. Essential travel includes matters related to health and safety, such as going to a doctor, getting necessary supplies and services, like going to the grocery store, working at an essential business if you are an employee and traveling for that, taking care of someone that can't take care of themselves, a family or a friend who has an essential need for care, or again, for outdoor activities like walking or biking or fishing. Transportation, travel for those purposes is allowable under the order. If people have specific questions about that, again, calling the COVID call center number 715-831-7425 is our recommendation. This time of year, we also see things like garage sales or thrift sales, various ways to use that term. Those are also not allowable activities during this uh, time with the order in place. So again, a reminder that the Order does give clear communication on what are essential services and businesses, and we ask people to review that. 
We want people to stay healthy. We need people to understand that this is short term in the great scheme of life. We want you around next year at this time. We want people to stay healthy and the ask is for a short amount of time, even though it feels long, to stay home. Now is also not the time to gather friends and family as the weather is nicer and meet all at the local park for a, a grill out or for a, a game. Again, only your household and only in small groups with distance between you at those outside uh, events. So in closing, again, take care of yourself. I know this is hard. It's hard to see people that we know and love get sick and, and some people die of this disease. It's also hard to stay home and not have the same kind of social connectedness that so many of us want and need. The ask is to continue with following the order as it is written, um, to make sure that people are understanding that the intent is the circle is as small as you possibly can make it, and, and to follow that moving forward. So I'll open it up now for questions. Yes? Lisa, have you, uh, you were referencing the church services. Have you, do you know of any where you had to step in and recommend that they not do it? Yeah, so the question is about church services, what's happened in Eau Claire County related to that over the last few days. There have been a number of conversations with local congregations across Eau Claire County. The communication from the state that we utilized the last few days was to not have parking lot services, and there were a number of them that were organizing that and wanting to do things for their congregations that included gathering, um, and very strong and very clear messages over the last couple of days that that was not allowable. We have communicated back to all of those organizations with the information that we got after one o'clock today that the governor's press release did include that being allowable. We are continuing to encourage those places that really want to do this and that we acknowledge that they're wanting to do it for the right reason, but the risk for their congregation and for them as individuals that are working in those congregations is too great. And really the ask as faith leaders is to understand, yes, this is hard and we can't have a risk. And I think the majority of leadership is understanding that. My concern is about the small minority that is seeing it more important to risk people's health um, and continue with the, with the celebration. And I, I'm very concerned about that. Yes. Now that the governor's order came out, I guess legally, for lack of a better term, can they do it? So the question is now that the governor's, um, the actual, there wasn't a new governor's order. The governor did do a press release yes. um, describing the, the description given was interpretation of the order as it's written. It's a different interpretation that was given yesterday. And so we in Eau Claire and across the state, there was just a phone call with all the state health department directors at two o'clock today. Um, Eau Claire is not alone in being very concerned about that press release, um, but we are all understanding that that is the new guidance and that it is allowable. Our communication to our local pastors and um, leaders of faith communities is to please not do it. Yes? I have a question about that same thing as well. Um, I, I'm wondering if you could go into a little more detail about what specifically the worry is about parking lot services. Mm -hmm. Is it that, you know, that might encourage people to get out of their cars and congregate, that if people's windows are down, is that also a problem? Sure. Um, so the question is, why are we so worried about parking lot services? There are a number of reasons that we're concerned, and parking lot and drive up services have been proposed in lots of different ways, so it's hard to describe the one, one case fits all dynamics. But in the, in the bottom line, there are more people together in a space that potentially will infect each other. So some of the examples have included um, people that are walking car to car, distributing communion, or taking a collection. Every contact risks the person doing that as well as the occupants of that car. That's considered a close contact. And you now have widened your circle 
that much farther than if you stayed home and practiced your faith without doing that. Um, it also, because all of us know how hard it is to stay home and not have physical contact with people that we care about, faith communities typically are people that really have close connections. And the, the impulse that we all have when we see someone we know and love is to give them a big hug, talk to them, get up close to them. We all, well not maybe all of us, but many of us have that impulse. And, the risk is too great. The minute people get out of their car, the minute the, there's a connection, it, it, the risk is too great. And the variability in how people's services are being planned are such that there are too many opportunities for that potential to happen. We're also concerned because anytime we have more cars out on the road traveling for something that really in the end provides a great deal of concern, we have cars on the road that have potential for all kinds of other things happening in our community from traffic um, accidents to law enforcement interaction for other reasons. And that increases, again, the number of face-to-face -face contacts that we're exactly trying to prevent with this. So, like we've said many times, travel shouldn't happen except if it's essential. I know for many, many people, their faith is essential. Our ask is to find a different way to do it for this very short amount of time to protect others in the community. Other questions? Possibly somebody would. Uh, I, for the third straight day now, you said there's no new cases. And so somebody hears you saying, hey, I'd like you to be to, in the faith community, disregard what the governor has seemingly allowed in terms of, let's say, a parking lot service where you stay in your car, mm -hmm. and yet Eau Claire County hasn't had any new cases for three straight days. So can you speak to someone who, even faith leaders, who mm -hmm. might say, boy, it's seemingly a, a lessened problem now. Yeah. I think that's a legitimate question. The question is, for three straight days, we've had no increased number in cases, no additional positives. Why is this such a big concern in this community? We continue to know from the trajectory of this disease across the US and internationally that we will see more cases. We are testing a narrow range of individuals because of the criteria of for testing right now, although we're anticipating that will slowly expand now that we have more capacity and the state yesterday opened up some additional groups to be tested at State Lab of Hygiene. We're not testing many people. This is a disease that none of us have immunity to. It's a disease that's in our community and across the state and we know that there are additional people ill. Every person that is potentially a carrier with no symptoms or limited symptoms, they think that it's just allergies, they think it's just a small cold, that is potentially getting others ill is widening the circle and that will hit people that are vulnerable, our elderly, those people that are um, vulnerable because of immune comprom being immune compromised, that's why we can't do this. The illness has not changed. The, our ability to withstand being infected has not changed. None of us are immune. It is an illness that we've seen the course of across the world as being significant and severe if we don't shut down the number of people that are exposing each other. Other questions? Thank you again for being here today. We will be back tomorrow. There'll be some updates and some other um, activities that happen often in the spring. Um, I believe Dale Peters will be back to share a bit about what's happening um, with local governments, including the city of Eau Claire and the other government entities in our county. Um, and we really appreciate people paying attention. Again, COVID um, hotline, the call center number is 715-831. 7425 and our website is coronavirus.echealthdepartment.org we do continue to have staff all through the weekend so we know that disease will not stop because some people have off tomorrow and
many people are on holiday for the weekend. Um, we will be around and available and responding during that entire time. Thank you very much.